If you're struggling to connect up and merge two different databases, then this is for you. This video basically shows you how you can use AI to match up rows using some fairly loose parameters. Here we've got a database of music, and this is in Airtable, but we've also got a similar database in Bubble. This particular client has maintained both databases independently. And now we want to move all of our Airtable data into Bubble. So the first step is I need to find which ones are already existing and which ones don't exist yet. And to power that logic, I'm going to use ChatGPT on the 3.5 model. So first up, I'm going to do a search of my Airtable base. And here I'm just searching the music table, returning all the records, limiting to 300. There's about 200 or so in the base. And then I'm filtering out for all the ones that already have a bubble ID. I ran into a rate limit here. I put a sleep in here just before recording this video. Two seconds should be about right. What I'm doing is I'm doing a call to the bubble database and getting all the music files, which is 122 files returned. Now, what I'm then doing is I'm aggregating those into a very crude data structure, just name and then the ID of the um, particular thing. And so now we've got, and I could probably actually optimize this a little bit because I'm doing this in the wrong order. I should probably do this search first. And then I should be doing that next and then doing that next. So the reason why I changed that is because I don't need to search the bubble database every single time for every single row because the database is not going to change. So what I can do instead is I can search that once at the very start then I iterate my rows from Airtable, and then I process each row. And what I'm doing here with ChatGPT, I'm using the 3.5 model, the cheaper model, because we're just doing some crude data matching. We're not asking really for much intelligence here. And I'm just saying your task is to match the song names. If no close match exists, then leave it empty and return JSON in this format, name ID. Then I'm passing in saying, okay, here's the song name defined, and then here's the list of names from our database with the IDs that I can match that up later on. Then I'm telling it to return a JSON object, and it is reliably cleaning this data up. So if we look at the data here, my input was Gold Skies Martin Garrix. You can see all that data that has to search through, and its output was Gold Skies, and then here's the ID of that record from what I fed to it. This one here was Cold Water Remix Major Laser. And let's see if it found a match. Its match was Cold Water Remix Major Laser and the ID. Now, here I'm writing the name of the song from Airtable, but that may not be the exact same name from Bubble. If we look at our data here, I do a search for cold water. So you can see that doesn't contain major laser at all. It just has cold water and then CTSH remix, right? So if I tried to write like a regex or do an exact match or even a case insensitive match using bubble search parameters, it wouldn't return the result because it's got other words there and it's not close enough for bubble or any search system to really match it. But with ChatGPT, we can essentially ask it to do a fuzzy search and do a, a close enough match. Now, the benefit there is that there may be two or three songs with similar names in the database. And because I'm passing in the name, uh, I could even refine it a little bit further and pass in the name and artist for both. Uh, that's probably the more accurate way to do it. So for instance, I will do name, and then I'm gonna put in the artist name as well. Now, the artist name I think is on another level in this data structure, so I'll have to do a lookup and then put the artist name here. But for instance, if it was this field, I'd just put that there. And now I've got song name, artist name, and then the ID of the record. And that will give ChatGPT a higher chance of getting the right single, the right song, with the right artist, in case there's similar named songs. And then we're just parsing out the result and then writing that result back into Airtable. So that's step one of our data cleaning for this particular logic. And then step two, once we've got these bubble IDs, I'll know which ones already exist and which ones I have to create. And then I can pull all the data from Airtable and then push it over into the bubble database. 